Girls, welcome back to Real Talk with Jen. I'm Jen. How are y'all? What is going on, y'all? What is going on? I feel like I haven't recorded in a long time, and I know when I say that, it probably feels like nothing to y'all, but in real time, my recording schedule is not always like week to week, day by day. It sometimes it's spans of time in between. So I haven't actually like recorded in a minute, and I miss y'all. But I want to get myself together. You know, energy is a real thing. I'm tired y'all i'm so tired i get i go through these like ups and downs of just being really really tired or just like going and going and then i kind of crash and i don't like drink uh caffeine or anything like that i don't drink coffee or and i only honestly drink tea when i'm like sick ish you know so i don't drink tea a lot i drink soda a few times a year it's definitely not like a staple in our house because we were starting to get to a point where we start drinking soda a lot for some reason when we moved here and then that we cut that short really quick because it was just like why are we doing this so i don't have like those like uppers to keep me like going and these kids in life just be beating me down y'all so i get tired and then i just completely stop doing everything until i feel rejuvenated enough to like interact you know what i mean because you don't want to be all like a bump on a log in front of a camera or in front of people you know it's just like sometimes you need to collect yourself and then re-emerge um and I, I don't know maybe that's a trait of an introvert or whatever one of my girlfriends actually says she's like that so i think that might be a thing where you we, you know you need a break but i'm back and i'm excited and i have a haul for y'all it's a lot of stuff and i think it's gonna take a while and i feel like if i try to put too much in the video i'm gonna have to break the video part into two which i don't want to do but anyway i feel like i'm tired from good stuff which is always a good thing right like there have been hits this year of just like low lows of you know death sickness things like that like the low the about as low as you can get is usually a death typically um but i always try to stay grateful because for the most part this year has been so emotionally financially draining mentally draining but it's been also full of so many good things y'all like this is almost our one year anniversary of buying our first home we moved across the country we've had so many like events at our house with our families our kids love it like so much has changed recently my husband got a new job which is awesome but it has like turned our entire family dynamic and kind of like day-to-day -day on its head like for real flipped it all the way around child so that has been really stressful for me because I'm not used to it and you know it's just been hard like thinking through all that thinking through money we have trips coming up which is part of the haul I got a couple things for the more than a couple <laughs> things for this trip we're about to go to LA it's so funny because my cousin was over and she said something to the effect because she knew we were going to LA and she said something to the effect of like y'all are going home it'd be nice for y'all to go home and visit or something like that and I was like dang like is LA home? I think it is y'all. Like I think it's home for us. Like if we could pick this house up because we love this house. It's very us. Like my sister said that the other day. We were outside talking on the porch. She was like this house is very y'all. And I was like yeah it is. <laughs> if we could pick this house up and take it to LA we would have left. We would already be gone honestly. Or maybe we would have never left. <laughs> you know chapters. This is just a chapter that we're in currently. So we're trying to enjoy it but i i always tell everyone like we're here for a good time not a long time i don't foresee us staying here for like a long amount of time I, I think we're gonna end up going back but we would not sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards i'm not saying this is backwards but in um terms of being able to buy a home there's no way we would have been able to buy a home there not it's not possible not where we were not what we were doing it's just not it's not a thing beyond winning the lottery i'm so serious so being able to create this financial stability and just like level up honestly is what's going to allow us to even go back in the first place so you know things things happen the way they're supposed to you know what i'm saying and but the thing that's so crazy is even when good things are happening you still can feel drained and tired and just like you're going 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 you don't even get to sit and really enjoy it as soon as we got the house all i'm thinking about is furnishing the house buying stuff buying stuff we're about like 65 percent furnished in this house we got it's a big house it's a lot it's a lot of money it's a lot of time a lot of things to fix so 
it just went from like not even enjoying the moments, just like doing, just in go mode. And I realized recently, like it's been so many blessings this year. This, this it's been so many things that I am so thankful and grateful for that I haven't sat to really think about and fester in it. You know what I'm saying? Because we're just going. And I was saying to myself because I was feeling like bad. Like, does this ever happen to y'all where you feel bad that you feel like you're complaining? Because the things that are going on are good. New job, new car. We recently got a new car, new cars with an S. <laughs> so like, Think like good things, these things are happening and it's like, these are all good things, but they don't make it any less draining or less hard. The kids started school, I've never had both Ava and PJ in school. That's a lot, you know what I'm saying? So is it good? Yes, but am I drained? Yes, and sometimes I feel bad for feeling like just not grateful all the time, like you should just be happy, but you can, it's not like mutually exclusive, you can be drained and tired and also very grateful and happy that all these things are happening in your life you know you could do it can happen at the same time so that's kind of like the season i'm in right now just very grateful but also like very tired because a lot has happened in the past 12 months <laughs> and all of y'all know all of y'all that know know like it's been a lot like we've been pushing ourselves um pretty hard i mean that's kind of how we are i'm not gonna lie about that but it's even a lot for us I will say. But anyway, I hope whatever season you're in, it's a, it's a flourishing season. We're about to go into fall soon, which makes me sick to my stomach, child. Ugh, I am not looking forward to this weather changing. I, I'm loving the warmth, but we still have some, I think we have at least a few months ahead of warmth. Even though summer will be over, I think it'll, it won't get cold like drastically, like right away. But I'm, I'm honestly, I kind of already have seasonal depression. <laughs> I'm already, already grieving the summer leaving us and for those of you that are not in like florida and like california y'all know what i'm talking about but yeah y'all let's get into this haul because like i said there's a lot of stuff i didn't even mean for this video to be a haul first of all it became a haul because i just was so tired like i said that i just started aggregating things in my office that i didn't feel like putting away i ordered a bunch of stuff off of shein for the trip we're going on and I had it in the room and I wasn't thinking anything about it. I ordered some bags for my husband. I wasn't thinking anything about it. And then after a while, I was like, this is kind of a lot of stuff. And then my sister invited me to go to Target, which I know I love. So I was like, yes, girl. I wasn't even supposed to buy anything, did I? Of course I did. All right, y'all, let's get this thing started. I'm in my little soapbox corner. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, check out my soapbox videos. I'm gonna try to do it by store if I can, but no promises, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna start with Target. Got a few fake little plants. I've been wanting to get some fake plants for the longest time, y'all. And I say that with an S because I got more than one. Let me show y'all. Got this and it's both were $5. And we were on our way out of the store and then just saw this like in the aisle and we're like, Yes, I've been wanting fake plants for a minute. I wanna put one, I can't remember which one, but probably this one in the bathroom, the downstairs bathroom. And then I want to put this on um, the side table in the living room, cause it's pretty bare and it just be hanging out doing nothing for real. So I just wanna zhuzh it up a little bit. These are gonna go on um, the fireplace. I wanna put them on either side of the fireplace and see how they look. I literally have not even tried it out, y'all. I've been just putting stuff in my office. <laughs> my office is a mess. It has been for at least a month and a half of these things just sitting in here. Just sitting, y'all. So I haven't even tried it out to see how it looks. I'm assuming it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna look nice. We shall see. If it doesn't, then I'll find somewhere else to put it in the house because I like them, so I'm not gonna get rid of them even if it doesn't like look right where I want it to go. Simple enough um, is this soap dispenser. This is already full of soap, y'all, because literally be I've been sitting on this stuff so long that my husband got frustrated with me and he started like filling stuff up, putting it where they belong. And I'm like, no, I need it for my home. I always have soap, um, like most people, at the sink, not um, the dish soap, like hand soap. But I always just like refill the old bottle. Like, you know, we all, I mean, at least one, at least one time you've done that where you just like refill 
a, a plastic bottle that you got previously that like look nice and you can get away with it so that's what i've been doing um but i'm like that you know probably i wanted to like level up and so i was looking for something nicer and then my sister was like why don't you just get like an actual soap dispenser i was like oh okay so I got this from the bathroom section, but I feel like the moment I put it in the kitchen, it's not gonna look like it's supposed to be in the bathroom. Um, and then I got a little um, brush, like a, a dish brush to kind of match it. It's a little bit, like the, to the, the tone is a little bit darker, but they look good together. So I can finally put this out into the kitchen today, which I'm sure my husband will be glad about that. Another kind of random thing that I got, things that I got from Target were Tabitha Brown's product, y'all. I'm sure it's at your local Target. You've probably already seen it. Like I said, this is, honestly has been sitting for like a month. She recently started um, a line with Target probably a year or two ago. This is, I think this is like the second iteration of the things that she's come out with. So she has clothes, pet stuff, candles, any lifestyle thing you can think of, she has created. Um, very vibrant, colorful like this. And this is her. She's literally precious. I swear we do not deserve her. So I saw that she had a drop because um, Target just like emailed me, you know, marketing. And I was like, oh, I wanna support. And you know, I don't need candles, y'all. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need candles. And I probably don't need any more um, journals or little notebooks I love to write things down so I always have a lot a lot of journals and notebooks in my office and like just in my presence um, and like pencils and stuff like that's just how I am but I was like you know what we gonna support that's what we gonna do we gonna support we're gonna support people that deserve it you know what I'm saying like some people deserve to win and I feel like she's someone that deserves to win because she's precious. All she does is emit good energy and good vibes and just, she deserves to win. So I was like, let me just find something that I can buy. And I found these notebooks, which like I said, I love, y'all know I love stripes as you can see behind you and just vibrant color. And she says my business on the front because that's like one of her sayings. She's always like, and that's my business. <laughs> If you know, you know. Yeah, they're pretty calm. I like them. I don't like perfumey, like really, really, really floral or very, very perfumey things. It, like I'm very picky about it because it immediately turns my stomach. When I was younger, my mom, or my, my mom is a very girly girl type of um, woman. She always has been when we were little as well. And I used to just think she was just amazing and dope. She still is. I'm not saying like past that. She still is. She always used to wear perfume and stuff. But there was one perfume she used to wear that immediately turned my stomach, y'all. Immediately. I hated the smell of it. And I probably would know it if I smelled it today. Um, and ever since then, like certain candles, certain things like immediately when I smell it like I can't do it thankfully that is not the case with these that was just a sidebar that's not the case with these these are super calm sandalwood and chamomile uh, salted jasmine and white amber so very calm scents that I probably am just gonna leave in my office and light them when I like feel a vibe and the kids are not around to like mess it up i also got this bag which you can see i have not opened let's open it together as you can see i don't even know how to open this oh fun oh okay oh who doesn't need a reusable bag y'all like everyone needs a reusable bag and if you don't use reusable bags please do because look save the earth okay like that like so is that what it says oh look like so like that she always says that too like so like that this is another candle with the same type of print that she uses on um a few of her other things let's smell it i love the gold accent Ooh, y'all look i was about to be like girl <laughs> it's like fruity if you're not into fruity you probably won't like it but Ooh, I like this one. I like this one the best so far. Um, I wanna like this now, but I already have incense going in my office, girl. I'm gonna get choking. Oh, and you know what else I got from Target, y'all, which is not in here, obviously, but I will pop it in. While we were in Target, we saw a um, kind of beanbag chair situation that I thought would be really great for PJ because 
he loves being in his room he's getting to be a big boy he really doesn't have a place to sit and i initially was going to get him a gaming chair but I'm, i almost feel like he's too little for it we were in line and i ran back and grabbed this uh, beanbag chair situation and then I got the little footstool part because his sister loves to go in his room of course and annoy him and I would like for her to have a place to sit as well so she's not trying to squeeze in next to him and annoying him even further so it was super affordable I want to say total it came to like 50 something bucks for the two um, so super affordable he loves it girl he be chilling so hard in it as you can see chill so hard um so it was a, it was worth every penny and i'm so glad that i turned around and went and got it um while we were like literally about to check out it was definitely worth it moving on if you know me you know i'm easily influenced <laughs> my husband said that to me the other day like you are easily influenced because and he means that in terms of um social media y'all i got a i got an ad <laughs> for a little phone holder uh, thingy for your car. Y'all, I say thingy so much. I need to stop saying it so much because Ava's starting to walk around calling things thingies. And I'm like, oh, she totally gets that from me. But anyway, it's for the car to hold your phone um, for directions. I am directionally not inclined. I am not good with directions. If I don't have my phone to tell me where to go, you best believe I'm I'm anxiety ridden and probably gonna get lost like or call my husband or like I'm just not good with directions y'all so every single time we got something for the car to put our phone in for directions it never worked out when I say never I mean never we purchased several things over the years and finally we kind of just gave up and I saw this ad I was like oh this looks like it might actually work and I grabbed it here it is um I haven't even opened this box and honestly I don't know if I'm going to open the box because since I've ordered this we got new cars and we don't need <laughs> we don't need it no more because the cars have little um screens on them that I can look on there for directions now and I never had that before in a car I, I don't know I might I could gift it or I'll figure it out. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it just yet. My real fans know what this is, y'all. This is the box that Beyonce was selling, like the mystery box when her album came out, um, which obviously was like a couple months ago at this point. So I ordered one because I was like, girl, why not? I love Beyonce. Okay, just like I love Beyonce. Please know Beyonce slander. I love her. Okay, I am a stan. I am a fan. Um, so I was like, oh, sure, let me get it. Um, and surprisingly, I didn't see a lot of people unboxing this. So I, I, I think I know what's in it, though. Um, I believe it's a t-shirt. That much I know. And I, I'm going to guess an album, like a proper like CD, like we used to listen to y'all when we were when we were the age of these teenagers around here. You probably can't see it, or maybe you can with the glare, but it says Act One Renaissance here. Cross here, and yes, queen. <laughs> queen. Y'all, first of all, my cousin and my sister were over here. They were like, oh man, I haven't even heard the album yet. I've just heard uh, Break My Soul that they play on the radio. And I was like, <sighs> And then the other one, one was right here, the other one was right here. She co-signed like, yeah, me too. And I was like, oh my God, like you think you know people. You think you know a person. And then you find out they haven't listened to Beyonce's album yet. And it's like, girl, I had to get on them about that. And and you know who you are. Love you though. Listen to the damn album. So this is the short. Whenever the, whenever the um concert, comes to town y'all already know I'm going so this was like pose one I think I got pose one or pose four girl I don't know I don't remember but I'm just glad to have it it was affordable it was just like a thing to have like why not and yeah like I said it's just the album which is great I could put it in my listen to it in my new little car y'all yeah I remember how precious albums were to us like when we were younger just opening up the 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 booklet sometimes if you were lucky the lyrics were inside like that feeling you know that was the that i missed that i missed that do y'all miss that i missed that feeling of like the excitement of it not knowing and all that now everything's so digital it's like you know it takes something out of it a little 
and the rest of it is just honestly it's just packaging so you know you always pay for packaging child okay y'all we moving along we are moving along swiftly we're doing a great job i told y'all my husband came and took stuff out of here so one of those things was just a nice little pantry sign we have a small pantry so we got this cute little pantry sign off of amazon and then we also got this little organization um set you know the little organization plastic sets from amazon as well it, it came with many more pieces than this but i'm gonna use that upstairs for whenever i get like a vanity table set in my um bedroom but this has helped this drawer a lot because it was awful um so i'm glad that we're able to get some organization to it so i mentioned to y'all we are going to la and i'm very excited the kids are not going y'all this will be the first time we leave the kids my mom and my sisters honestly are going to help take care of the children and so that will be very new i'm I, i'm nervous not because i don't trust them obviously but it's just you know i'm just nervous it's we've never done it before um we have like i said a new schedule and just things are you know we try to run our house like a well-oiled machine so it gets tricky you know when other people come into that fold and then we got the dogs too child so it's just it's a lot but we going and <laughs> we gonna have fun but you know we've been hearing all these horrible extremely disturbing stories about trafficking and hotels and all the shady things that happen so i purchased um this door stop that kind of works also as an alarm obviously you can use it more than at a hotel you can use it in your home you can use it wherever um, but a lot of people use it at their hotel room so you can put it as a door stop and if someone tries to open your door it alarm you know alarm sets off i haven't tried it yet but the review said it was really loud so <laughs> there are different settings on it though so if you don't want it too loud i think you could turn it down a bit but i think um women that travel a lot should look into this because you know we need to stay safe out here because people are freaking creeps and then this is a pen type gas leak detector y'all that's another thing that i've been seeing by people dealing with going to hotels again and being out in the world again it's like these hotels are not all the way keeping up with things the way that they used to when there was a lot of traffic they're not detecting gas and people are like dying in their sleep and not waking up and stuff because it was a gas leak and no one knew it so um i decided to purchase this because <laughs> not me not today okay no another easy affordable find on um amazon the last thing i want to show y'all from amazon is this little trash can we have two dogs and my husband created this little doggy area in our yard so they don't run around and, and ruin our entire yard with their um pee when they use the bathroom we often have to immediately take it out to the garbage can outside or whatever and when i say we i very much mean my husband because i don't do it but it's just like a lot and so we bought this little trash can to um collect all their doggy poop and it's worked great and it rains and it's a lot of weather over here and it hasn't been like a lot of bugs on it it hasn't rusted yet i'm sure it will i mean it's only a matter of time but for now it's worked fine it's cute it's really really small so if you see it on amazon do not make sure you actually like look at the measurements it is very small it's fine for what we wanted i knew it was small when i bought it i wasn't surprised by that but it seems like some people were um and it keeps the scent in really well so we haven't had like little critters or animals or anything trying to get into it which is also a concern but that has not um happened so i'm happy with it for now and i feel like it's maybe something that you have to buy again in a year or two potentially but it wasn't like two hundred dollars like it wasn't a lot of money where you wouldn't be able to do that i think it was like 40 bucks so y'all know i love uh the brand tote and carry i've mentioned them several times on the vlog i purchased um um travel bags from them a wallet from them and then i tried to get something for my husband he was not going he was just not into it I, it wasn't he wasn't into it he just didn't want it whatever but now that we're going to la we actually have a destination he was more into it and i bought some for him and it's a black owned brand well it's black owned and the other owner is of asian descent but it's minority owned so that counts and their stuff y'all is so 
nice. It's so nice, so affordable, so durable. It's always a coupon somewhere that you can find for your stuff. Like I never pay full price. I always use a coupon for it, to be clear. And um, I told my mom about this. I mean, I told y'all, I told everybody, but my mom, like immediately after her seeing my bags, I ordered her some, y'all. She has more bags than me now. She has more tote and carry bags than me now, y'all. I didn't put in like two or three orders for her already. But the bags are great, y'all. So check it out um, if you're just doing quick trips. And then they have this when you get it. They put this on here. It's so cute. It says Los Angeles to Atlanta. It's just like a cute little marketing thing. Those little, those little details matter to me at least. So we're gonna we're gonna be looking super cute in the um, airport with our little tote and carry bags. I don't know if he's gonna take both of his bags, but I am for sure taking both of my purple bags that I have. All right, y'all. I'm looking around, and I absolutely definitely have more stuff from Amazon. <laughs> this steamer I got from Amazon. I don't have the thingy in it. It's the thing that goes here, that goes in the inside. I've never had a steamer before. When I went to go and visit my brother a few months ago. When we were ironing our clothes, I'm like, where's the iron? And he's like, I don't have an iron, I use a steamer. I was like, oh, okay. So I always had it in my head to like get a steamer because it worked really well and I just never did it. And then again, because of this trip, I was like, we're gonna need to like iron our clothes. We're going to a wedding. So I wanna make sure my stuff looks, you know, good and my husband's as well. So I got this steamer, I've used it maybe two or three times and it works really well. Ooh, this, this office is such a mess, y'all. If I just showed y'all around, this is why I'm not finding anything because it's all just been thrown about. This is another safety thing, y'all. So if you travel a lot, and for me, I travel for work, not a lot, but like maybe once a year. And that obviously is just me by myself. So all these things that I've shown y'all that are specific to hotels, I'm very much, going to be using when I travel by myself. This is a portable door lock um, so that people can't open your door because this will jam it. So I'm just gonna show you this part and I'm sure y'all have probably seen this on probably like ads on Instagram or, or Amazon or something. So it's kind of hard to kind of tell and I don't know how to use it yet, but essentially it jams the door, like the little um, thingy that goes um, in the door it jams it so people can't like pull it. You can't you can't turn the, the, the knob thing. Child, I don't even know how to do it, but you best believe, you best believe I'm gonna figure it out. And if I don't, my husband will, and you know, by proxy, I will also figure it out. It's sad that you even have to do all that when it's already damn locks on the door, but people are creeps, like I said. So it's better to be safe than to be sorry. And you know, you are priceless and you're worth you know, a little $15 thingamajiggy to make sure you're safe. Okay, y'all, we're about to get into Shein. Very fancy, very grown up, very pretty. I love it. If Ava saw this bag, it will be done. She would be like, oh, thanks for purchasing this for me. It almost smells like hot glue. I'm not even kidding. Like somebody literally was working hard on this one. I feel like this necklace is very much a one and done type of necklace you put it on child you keep this bad boy on your neck good luck because that uh that rash is gonna come soon thereafter very pretty we're gonna have to get creative with this haul here because again i'm in my office and i don't have like the leverage that i need to show y'all things properly but basically this dress was supposed to be mustard <laughs> I thought I was ordering a mustard colored dress. And um, this is not, this is high key canary yellow. But I tried it on and it looks nice on my frame. And my sister said that it looked nice. It has a little belt, which I'm unsure if I'm gonna keep the belt or if I'm gonna put like a different belt on it. And I'll pop up, um, what it's supposed to look like on the screen here so you can see. I did not think it was this yellow. <laughs> Had I known, I wouldn't have got this color. I'm like one of those people like that does not return things. Like if I get something online, 
the work that it takes to to return it is just like not worth it to me nine times out of ten so i just end up eating it whatever cost i i spend i just eat the cost i just was like nah i'm not going through all this so i literally read an article like the other day about donations because i'm big on donations like we try we try to live sustainably as we can like we're not we're not top tier sustainable like energy efficient like we're not but we try to be conscious of that. And I read an article that like thrift stores are suffering because a lot of the donations are coming from fast fashion, like Shein, which has a chokehold over me, like for real. Like Shein needs to let me go. They create clothes that don't last. A lot of the clothes are not things that you keep for a long time that you pass it down to your kids or anything like that, right? So when we're done with them, we just are like, oh, we'll give it away to someone that can use it or someone needs it. But people don't go to thrift stores for like fast fashion stuff. They go for substantial, you know, good quality things. Almost 90% of the things that we donate y'all goes into like dumps and landfills and um, gets burned basically. So you you think you're doing something and they burning the stuff up, no one's buying it and they still have to dump it out. Isn't that crazy? I thought that was so interesting and also sad because like, what are we supposed to do to save the earth, Lord? I don't know. All right, y'all, we had to relocate because I want to try to show y'all these outfits in a way that you can actually see them, unlike like the dress I just showed you. So bear with me. I'm about to get into the items that I got for my husband, just like really cute short sets, easy things for him to wear. And obviously he's not taking all these things because it's too many. We're only going for like three days. Um, but I still got him a bunch of stuff because you can always wear it next summer. You can always wear it around the house. I know for us summer is fleeting, but nevertheless, we probably could get some wear out of some of these things. So we got this short set. It's giving Kanye a little bit. Now that, I'm, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of giving that like Kanye vibe. He liked it a lot though. Um, but the thing he didn't like is this like random pleat down the middle, which I didn't even notice, but whatever. Um, so I don't know how much he's gonna wear this like out out cause he didn't really care for that. But this was one little set that I got for him. I kind of function like his personal shopper y'all. And if you have a husband like mine, then you already get it. But if you don't, don't try to come for me because no. I will like look at things that I know that he'll like and then I send it to him in like aggregate and then he like will tell me the things he likes and then ju I just purchase those things because it's just easier y'all. Um, and it's certainly easier than going into a store with two little crazy kids. It's very LA and just like fun and cute and it's just a fun thing to wear. And he actually liked it. So if he didn't, I would have took it for real. I would wear it. I think almost everything I got him was a short set y'all. Still kind of LA vibes, I feel like, at least the colors. I like these shorts a lot. This is increasingly wrinkled just because he wore this already. We had a um, little birthday party for Ava and he had this on, so that's why it's so wrinkled. But it's kind of like linen material. Is it linen? It looks linen-y. So he looks so nice in it, y'all. It really, it was giving. It really was giving. This is not a set, obviously. It was, it's just a shirt that I got that had some, like a little detail on it. It's just a little razzle dazzle. They fit really well. And my husband's pretty tall. They fit really well. They come kind of to his ankle. So it's like, it looks like high watery, that vibe. Another set, very chills. If you notice, I do. <laughs> I buy stripes, I paint my office in stripes, I got my patio furniture in stripes. I like stripes, y'all. This, he did not like. <laughs> he ain't like it, y'all. That's okay. Because guess who's still gonna wear it? Me, hello. I don't know if the shorts will fit, but I can figure that out. And I can merch this up and make it a vibe, okay? So this is my outfit, but I did buy it for him. And he just, he just wasn't feeling it. Another set very LA. This looked really nice on him. He's dark skin and this pink was looking really, really nice on him. So this material of the shorts feels a little bit more flimsy than the others, but it's still like decent. Like it's still decent material. I'm here for it. And this is the last set. More pink, more vibes. 
very summery still. So I'm, I'm sure some of these will only show face next summer because there's no way he's taking all of these. But you know, there's stuff he can wear next year. It won't be, it, sets are always gonna be a thing people can wear. So I feel good about the purchases. The only thing I did forget to bring down here was um, I bought him some um, swim trunks. That was the only thing because we are definitely going to the beach. We are beach people to our core. Okay, let's see the things that I got for, specifically for LA. Short sets. <laughs> Y'all, I love fashion. I love to look cute when I decide to look cute, but I'm also kind of like a lazy fashionista. I like to look cute and comfortable and also not spend too much time doing it. So I think that's one of the reasons I love the like summer or the months where I can wear dresses and the months that I can wear like sets because it's like I can immediately look put together, put look cute and merch it up and you know do my face a little bit my little whatever hair that i have and be out the door and i don't have to think too too deeply in it that's me i like sets and dresses that's kind of like i guess my way of like fashion style in some way is like easy chills cute a little bit like preppy i don't know like all of those things are like me and then you know it depends on the day then i got some body suits y'all i haven't had body suits in <laughs> years like i'm not exaggerating i don't know the last i may have been in like fifth grade the last time i had a bodysuit but i've really been wanting um some like i've been wanting that like look so i got a few which has a little bit more like detail than the other one and the material is very much different so it looks a little bit different still a set but a different vibe but one thing i'm just realizing is that i didn't even consider like the shoes i'm gonna wear with any of these i like this one a lot i feel like you could really dress it up and wear it to like dinner put some heels on like you could really jazz this up and make it like a real like nighttime vibe i don't know what we're really gonna be doing out there for real we probably won't even be doing that much but if we do she gonna be cute the last thing i got is this bathing suit i think it's too big y'all look at these look look how big this is oh my god it's extra large did i order extra large or did they send me the wrong size girl look well like i said it ain't going back so if you see me in some ill-fitting bathing suit on the beach in la please mind your business because i'm not sending this back y'all Honestly, I don't even have the time to send it back if I wanted to, but I don't want to, so I'm not. We're gonna make it work. I am I just said I'm not busty. This looks a little busty. And these are, I've been losing weight, y'all, so I don't even know if I can fit this. But it's cute, though. It's really cute. And that's all we really are going for, right? Because I show ain't getting in nobody's water anyway. So we gonna make it work. All right, loves, we got through that haul. I thought it was some good stuff in there. I hope you did too. I'm gonna put everything below and I'll try to categorize it so that it's easy for you to find if you so choose to uh, partake in getting it. I hope you enjoyed this video, y'all. I missed y'all. For anybody that has never seen my channel before, thank you for thugging it out and getting to the end. And welcome. Subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Check out some of my other videos. I hope that all of y'all are doing well. I hope that uh, as the routine changes for my moms out there that have school age kids, that you are staying sane, girl, because it is a lot. And for my dads out there, that's not fair to just put it on moms. It's a lot on us. Hello, but dads do a lot as well. So as this school season is going, I hope you are keeping your sanity and um, staying in high spirits. And I hope your kids are excited about learning and excited about um, this new chapter, this new grade that they might be in. And I also um, pray for their safety. And every second that they're not with you, I pray that they are covered. I really do. So. I will see y'all in the next video, y'all, because now I got to clean up my office. <laughs> now my office looks even messier than it did when I started the video. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. So I'm going to clean my office up, get myself together, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.